In the previous video I kept showing you this tyre that kept going flat and possible causes for it. I looked over the whole surface of the tyre found one or two stone shards that I, I removed and then got some soapy water with some washing up liquid in it and put that around the tyres, uh, the wheel and tyre rim and the valve and anywhere that I thought had a puncture. As you can see it seems to be seeping out of the join between the wheel rim and the tyre which is a common thing as when you go and get your new tyres put on they usually put some seal around this which seals it but when the seal breaks it becomes a bit of a nuisance because the tyre keeps going flat. So I was so fed up I decided to use some of that emergency puncture repair stuff. Uh, in my case it was a Holtz tyre weld. And use the whole can on the uh, one wheel. I thought it might have fixed it but it actually didn't. Over time it went flat again. So I was thoroughly fed up. So I pumped it up and then it went flat again. So I pumped it up a second time and it went flat again. Pumped it up a third time. And flat again. This is becoming a joke. So I had to do something. So I decided to get to the root bottom of this and take the tyre off completely and have a look at the rim and see what a mess the spray sealant has done. So here's the rim and as you can see there's a, a lot of build up around the uh, wall edge here where the tyre seats onto the rim. As you can see there's quite a bit of corrosion here so all that's got to come off. I'll have to scrape and uh, wire brush that off. And you can see the remnants of the uh, spray sealant on the rim as well. But there's not so much on here, as it tends to fly out towards the uh, inside of the tyre with centrifugal force when you spin it. Just have a look at that next. Here it is, all covered on the inside of the tyre. A sort of rubber solution type of stuff. But it's only a thin film and it easily comes off. But it's still going to be time consuming getting this off. So I'll have to clean all that up. And the worst bit is on the edge of the tyre rim. As you can see it's all on that as well. As well as the ordinary tyre sealant. So I'll have to clean all that up. So I'm using some hot water and uh, washing up liquid. And where there's some particularly stubborn stains, I'm using a bit of brush cleaner and I'll wipe that off afterwards with plenty of soapy water again. Now onto the hard bit on the inside. Even though the rubberized sealant seems to pull off quite easily, it, it's, it's not actually easy when you're getting all this amount off and seems to take ages. I don't know if there's an easier method to, to remove this, I don't know, but I just used uh, a cloth and some soapy water and of course elbow grease. But in the end I did manage to get it all off. You just need a bit of patience. So unless you're prepared to do that, then most people will probably just uh, throw the tyre and buy a new one, which is something to be aware of. As a garage certainly wouldn't want to do this. In the end, this was what was left over. Pretty yucky stuff. 
I think I'd have rather not bothered spraying it into the tyre in the first place. Right, onto the rim now. Gonna use a, a wire brush and a, and a drill to get most of the loose stuff off and the caked up corrosion. And then finish off with some emery paper. What I'm looking to achieve is a, a nice smooth rim seat for the tyre to go on. On the inside of the rim there's some marks here, along here, probably from tyre levers. But I'll have to, uh, I think I'll have to file that down, make it nice and smooth, remove that. Because it, it could leak from there. And again, finish it off with uh, emery paper. Right, that'll do. On to the painting now. Remove all the dust with a dry brush. This is the paint I'm going to use. It's uh, got uh, zinc in it, so that should act to protect the aluminium. So uh, zinc will uh, corrode before aluminium. You can paint this direct onto the metal, it doesn't need a primer. The main thing with this is to get a nice smooth coat. So this should be fine being the smooth version and not the hammered version. I'm just going to use one coat here as the paint's quite thick anyway. Turn it round. Quite a nice pleasurable job this. I think I've made a decent job of that. So I'll let that dry for a couple of days and then take it to the shop and put the tyre back on. And that's a much better way of stopping the leaks. So I hope that's helped anybody with a similar sort of problem. I do intend to renovate the front of these VRS wheels at some stage, as they're just starting to flake a little bit. But that'll have to be a high quality spray finish, as you definitely don't want to brush paint the front of the wheels. That will be something I don't recommend. Oh, and here's a little tip. It's always a good idea to store these upside down, as long as the lid's on safely, that is. Two days later. Nice and dry now. I'm off to the shop. Right, I've got my wheel back. It's nice and clean now. And more importantly, I'll have stopped all the leaks. So in my opinion, job's a good one.